Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the cost equation. And when it comes to cost, there are two kinds of cost. There's what we call fixed cost and variable cost. What's the difference? Well, the fixed cost is the cost you have to pay every single day or every single month or every single year, depending upon what the time frame is. In this example, the time frame is a single day. So it's the cost you have to pay per day, regardless of what you do. In this case, we're renting a truck. You're renting a moving truck that costs $80 per day and 20 cents per mile driven. Find the equation representing the cost for one day, draw the graph, and find the cost if the truck was driven 200 miles. So here you can see that the fixed cost is the cost you pay for the truck for one day, which is $80. And even if you don't drive the truck, you still have to pay $80. Then we have the variable cost, the cost you have to pay for each mile driven. So the more miles you drive, the more you have to pay. That's a variable cost. The sum of those two gives us the total cost of renting the truck. So what we need to do first is come up with an equation. And notice that we're going to use x to represent the miles driven. So the total cost as a function of miles driven is equal to the sum of the fixed cost plus the variable cost. Now the fixed cost is simply going to be the $80, so we'll write as fixed cost, but the variable cost can be written as this. It's going to be the cost per unit. Now in this case, the unit is the mile driven, but in this case, we'll write it down as simply the cost per unit. And then we multiply times the number of units. So here we use the general term unit, but in this case, we represent it by miles driven. So in this case, that's going to be equal to the cost that's, that's a fixed plus the cost per unit. Now the cost per unit is going to be $0.2, 20 cents is $0.2. And then the number of units is going to be X. So 0.2 times X, that represents the variable cost. C sub f represents the fixed cost. The fixed cost is just a single number. And that's going to be equal to the total cost, c as a function of x. And now when we write in the equation, c as a function of x is going to be equal to 80 for the fixed cost plus 0.2 times x for the variable cost. And this is the equation representing the total cost for this particular example. Now, what if we want to graph that? Well, this is exactly like a y equals mx plus b. y equals mx plus b. In this case, b is the 80 and m is the 0.2. So the numbers are somewhat reversed there, but we like to write cost as fixed cost first and variable cost next. So in this case, we're going to find the intercept b, which is 80. So we come up here. So we call that the intercept 80. And then the slope is 0.2x. So the slope is a slight positive slope like this. And so this line represents this equation where we have the fixed cost at 80 and then as the number of miles are driven, it increases. So then you say, well, if I'm going to drive 200 miles, which is right there, so let's say that this here is 200 miles. We put a line straight this way and a line going this way. So whatever this is right here, that is the total cost. So we'll call C sub T the total cost, which is simply the cost as a function of X. Now let's go ahead and calculate what that is equal to. So C, when X is equal to 200, is equal to 80 plus 0.2 times 200. So we simplify in 200 for X. And so this ends up being 80 plus 0.2 times 200, that is 40. And so that's equal to 120. And of course, we're talking about dollars because X was the uh, let's see, here, X is the number of miles driven, but the variable cost of 20 cents per mile, and that was $80. So we could say that C, when X equals 200 miles, is equal to 120, and let me just write it like this, $120. If we then convert the result into dollars, and that is how it's done. Okay, good start.